This is the Death Row and Executions channel. Here is your host, Paco Rivera. Welcome back to the Death Row and Executions channel. I'm Paco Rivera. You can also follow me on Facebook for updates and more Death Row news. There will be a link to my Facebook in the description below. You can also check out my other YouTube channel where I discuss recent crimes and convictions. That channel is called The Maximum Sentence. There will be a link for that as well. Before I discuss this next case, I want to start out by showing you a statement that the man convicted and sentenced to death, David Hosier, had stated in court. I stand here now convicted of a crime I didn't commit. I had a father and a cousin who were murdered, and I would never want a family to go through that. I know I committed adultery for having an affair with a married woman, but I did not kill her, and I didn't kill Rodney. I loved them both. My feeling is, no, I didn't get a fair trial. There was no witnesses or ballistics that could link me to the killings. I was not in Jefferson City when the killings occurred, and I didn't know about them until I was told by Oklahoma authorities when I was arrested there. I didn't flee to Oklahoma. When I have an issue, I get in the car and drive. Had I known I would have needed an alibi, I would have gotten one. Keeping those statements from David Hosier in mind, Let's get into the details of this case because it only took the jury a little more than one hour to find Hosier guilty of murder. Another thing to keep in mind, although the bodies of both 45-year-old Angela Gilpin and her husband, Rodney Gilpin, who was 61, were both found near each other at the same time, Hosier was only convicted of having killed Angela which makes this case a bit strange. Rodney Gilpin and his wife Angela were not living together because they were separated from their marriage. However, they were in the process of reconciling to get back together. They had been married 21 years. Rodney owned his own business called Gilpin's Cabinet and he was also a volunteer firefighter. During the time that Angela and Rodney were separated, David Hosier and Angela had developed a romantic relationship. By the way, several reports indicate that David Hosier and Angela Gilpin are also cousins, but I have not been able to confirm that. According to prosecutors at trial, Angela at some point ended the relationship by letting Hosier know that she was in the process of getting back together with her husband. Prosecutors stated that late one night during the early morning hours of September 28th, 2009, Hosier went to Angela Gilpin's apartment building in Jefferson City, Missouri and waited outside in the hallway, knowing that she leaves the apartment about three o'clock in the morning for her job as a manager of a convenience store in Wardsdale, Missouri, where she would open the store at 4.30 in the morning. Her husband, Rodney Gilpin, was inside the apartment at that time that night. Hosier had sprayed both of them with bullets. Angela Gilpin was shot six times, including two shots to her head, and was later found on the floor in the hallway. Rodney Gilpin, still inside the apartment a short distance away, died from three shots to the chest. In Angela's purse, investigators found the copy of an application for a protection order against David Hosier that was submitted to authorities. That restraining order filed indicated that Angela's ex-lover, that's how it's worded, that her ex-lover, David Hosier, had been stalking her and harassing her every day. In that petition for a restraining order, Angela had also mentioned that David Hosier owns a lot of firearms. The apartment building where Angela lived was secured with locks and there was no signs of forcible entry. David Hosier was living in the building beside the one Angela lived in and a witness stated that he had keys to enter both buildings. Both apartment buildings were managed by the same landlord. Because of the harassment, Angela had also complained to the apartment building's landlord and the landlord had ordered Hosier to move out. 
David Hosier was also fired from his job because Angela Gilpin was a regular customer there and Hosier was harassing her every time she went inside. A neighbor told police that a very angry David Hosier told him that if he can't have Angela, nobody can. Investigators were also informed about voicemails from Hosier left on yet another neighbor's cell phone showing that Hosier was in a rage and ranting that he was going to finish it. In the hours after the bodies were discovered, Jefferson City Police immediately began looking for David Hosier, but he was not at home and his car was not there. Investigators obtained a search warrant and inside Hosier's apartment they found 9mm ammunition and an empty box of 9mm shells. The bullets that killed Angela and Rodney were fired from a 9mm weapon. Investigators also traced Hosier's cell phone and determined that he was now in the nearby state of Oklahoma, about a six hours drive. Police in Oklahoma were notified and Hosier was spotted. He tried to evade police and led them on a chase. What is it they say? Innocent people don't run. A pit maneuver by police managed to ram Hosier's car to a halt as he was being pulled out of the car. He was yelling at the police, Get it over with. Shoot me. Saying it repeatedly. Inside the car, police observed an empty gun holder. When a thorough search of the car was done, officials found 14 firearms in a bag and one gun capable of firing 9mm ammunition that was the only weapon not in the bag. It was also the only gun in the car that wasn't loaded that didn't have any bullets in it. And that gun was determined to be the murder weapon that killed Angela and Rodney. So why did Hosier say in his statement to the court that there was no ballistics proving he had killed Angela and Rodney? The state did present ballistics evidence in court. Okay, now regarding statements made that David Hosier was not even in Missouri at the time of the murders, that he had been gone from there for weeks, that is totally false. David Hosier had a neighbor who he was friendly with and who also happens to work at the same convenience store as Angela. That neighbor's name is Jodine Scott. When questioned in the hours following the discovery of the bodies, Jodine Scott informed police that David Hosier had called her on the phone on September 27th. 2009 at 9 49 p.m about five hours before the murders joe dean stated that hosier wanted to come up to her apartment to give her something but she told him not to because she had just gotten home from work and was tired and had to get up early the next morning hosier then told her that he'll just leave the stuff on top of her car that included some keys for a storage unit and instructions to take care of his stuff if something happened to him. Hosier had also told her that he was going to, quote, eliminate his problems, unquote. Those items were later retrieved from the top of Joe Dean's car, proving, I repeat, proving that Hosier was in fact in Jefferson City just a few hours prior to the murders, debunking any theory that he wasn't. By the time of David Hosier's trial, he was saying that he didn't do it. He had said that the ballistics evidence presented by the state was just their opinion and there is no scientific proof for it. Much of everything else, however, was very strong circumstantial evidence. The threats he made, the same type of ammunition found at the crime scene and his home, running from police just hours after the murder. What had me stumped with this case is why he was found guilty of Angela Gilpin's murder and not Rodney Gilpin. And as I delved further, I learned that prosecutors had decided that they were going to try both murders separately. So he was first tried for the murder of Angela Gilpin. 
he was found guilty, and soon after that, he was sentenced to death. When prosecutors were asked, what about the murder of Rodney Gilpin? According to reports, prosecutors answered that question by saying, a decision will be made. Well, it's been about 15 years, and it appears that decision has not been made yet. My impression on that is that David Hosier will be executed for the murder of Angela Gilpin anyway. So why bother with another trial? Please remember to subscribe for more Death Row and upcoming execution stories. You can also follow me on Facebook for updates. There will be a link to my Facebook in the description below. I'm Paco Rivera. Take care and bye for now.